So your dog pulls on a leash. Well, in this video, I'm gonna be showing you exactly how we stop leash pulling responsibly, sustainably, and so it doesn't happen ever again. Make sure you watch the video all the way through. We're gonna be giving you some super helpful tips. So we are here with Finley, and Finley is about a three-year-old lab and golden retriever mix. And he pulls a lot, a lot, and he is a heavy dog. And he also, he chews everything that he eats. He wants to sniff everything. There's no engagement here with what I want him to do. And you can use treats, you can use treats to get him to, hey Finley, Finley, yes, yes. If we, if we train him to heal like this, all we're doing is bribing him. And this is not at all what we want to do. We want him to learn the best place to be is here with me, paying attention, not pulling. And also, it's not fun to pull. When you pull, it's self-reinforcing and that's what actually causes the issue in and of itself. It's a heavy dog, it's hard to stop him. So what we're gonna do, is so we're gonna first hook him up to a prong collar. Have it already on him. Don't forget your safety clip. But we are now live with a prong collar. And what we wanna do first is discover just what his level is on the prong collar, what his correction level is. Some dogs, it's gonna be a higher correction. Some dogs, it's just gonna be a little bit of pressure, like that. That was the smallest bit of pressure, yes. Good. And now that we've discovered that, he needs very little pressure. He seems to be more of a sensitive dog. What we do is we're gonna give him a little bit of pressure. Yes! Good. And all we're doing is encouraging him. He feels his pressure, he comes to me. That is the automatic response, and that's how you turn that off. We're giving him a way to turn off this pressure and making it about him. He gets to control whether pressure turns off or the pressure is on. It's all up to him. We're not correcting him. There's a piece of plastic there. Yes, good, good. You just chew everything, so we'll, we'll encourage that a little bit, but yes, good. Didn't need any pressure there. Already even a little more engaged, and we gave him one correction on a scale one to 10, maybe a, a half. Yes, good, good Finley. What we're gonna do is we're just gonna keep working on this. All we're doing here, right, continuing to build this, he turns off this pressure, it's all up to him. We'll give him one more, see how he responds. Yes, okay, so he has that down. What we're gonna do next, all we're doing here is teaching him loose leash walking where he doesn't pull. He's allowed to walk wherever he wants, but he just can't pull. He can't be at the end of the leash. And yes, when I'm doing that, I'm just gonna make some sudden U-turns. Also, I will say, your dog should never, if this is Finley and this is me holding the leash, the leash should never be tight like that, ever, ever, ever. The only time the leash should be tight is when you give him a correction. For him, it more looks like this. For some dogs, it's gonna be a lot harder. All depends. We just need to find the proper level and use proper leash pressure. Yes, good. He's a very food motivated dog, so a lot of people you ask what's in the pouch. For him, just kibble, just his kibble. And he eats it up. I'm gonna keep him on the left side. We're not gonna try to make this too much of a stressful experience for him, but we also do want to discourage the pulling. We wanna get this out of the way and allow him to be a lot happier on walks because he's been here for 24 hours and I am tired of him pulling. Yes. So we're just building some engagement here. It's really important to do this. This is a really great mental exercise for him. It's really great to just continue to improve our relationship with him. We're gonna work on some sudden U-turns. Because he is more sensitive, we're try gonna try not to give some corrections that are too high. We'll just keep walking that way. But two corrections maybe. He's already significantly more engaged and we are reinforcing this great behavior, but we also have to discourage the bad behavior. So, as we continue to improve on this loose leash walking, what we are gonna do then is start working on a heel, which he seems like he has one down. He does have some previous training and he's a very quick learner. He's just a little stubborn and uh, he's learned that he can get away with a lot. And that is his major issue. Yes. So there, I'm just gonna pay him. He's been walking decently for a minute or two. We'll pay him right there. Good. 
neighborhood. And for the rest of his life, he should, he's out walking on a leash, he should just walk like this. This is what his leash should look like. See that J in there? It's kind of hard to see, but there's always slack in his leash. Always, 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 always. Never is it tight. This is how he should walk. He's allowed to be wherever. He's allowed to be a little bit ahead, which will work on encouraging. But we also want to give him the obedience for him to be able to run around and be off leash and you know have that training. But him pulling, a harness isn't going to help. A flat collar is just going to have him pull more. All a harness does in this situation is makes it a little more manageable. But it doesn't teach him anything. He doesn't learn anything from it. Good boy. So since he has this down, ideally what we would do is a couple sudden U-turns. Yes. Should make it in a little game of follow the leader. But he is learning very quickly. As you see, some dogs it takes a couple days, a week. Some dogs learn in five minutes. But sudden U-turns. Then after that, he would go to sudden stops. And I'll show you what a sudden stop looks like. I stop. If he's with me, he gets paid. If he's not, he gets a little pop. We'll let him get ahead a little bit. Yes, good, Finley. Good. Yes. And I do make my stop audible so he can hear it because we do want to give him wins. But seems like he's got this loose leash walking down. For the heel, same exact darn thing, except we just tighten up the rules a little bit. So I'm going to choke up on the leash a little bit. And now I'm going to tell him heel. Cameraman, we can walk that way. And same exact rules, but just more strict. I'm going to introduce the command. Good heel. You turn, he's got that. Good heel. Good heel. You turn. Good heel, Finley. Stop. Yes. Good. He's already engaged. Good heel. Good heel, Finley. Good boy. And I have maybe eight, a foot, maybe 18 inches of slack on the leash. I am quite literally just holding it by my side. You can see from behind that this is all the slack he gets. If I stop, if that leash goes tight, he gets a correction. Just on its own. And if he doesn't, he gets paid. And when we do give corrections, we also do want to encourage the behavior of him coming back to us, coming back home. Because this is home, this is where you turn everything off automatically. But, oh, a little correction there. As you can see, he's learning super quickly. Wow, crazy. Only took us maybe five, seven minutes. This dog is now not pulling on a leash, and he will never pull again because we're going to continue reinforcing this for a couple walks, but it's a lot easier to stop leash pulling than you may think. As you can see, we just did this in how many minutes? Seven, maybe, if that. And now he can live a happy life, stress-free, without pulling on a leash and needing to go do this and go do that. So this is a great exercise to continue working on. We're going to work on this throughout his entire six-week process here. But super easy to stop leash pulling. Don't put your dog on a harness. Make sure you like and subscribe. We'll see you in the next one. Thank you.